Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here, and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Just My Opinion. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, please go ahead and give me that thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to hear me talk about entertainment news, do movie reviews, trailer reactions, or TV recaps. All right, so a couple of days ago, it came out that Wonder Woman, Warner Brothers by Patty Jenkins is going to be released on HBO Max this coming December. It's going to be in theaters on Christmas Day and simultaneously going to be on HBO Max. I am not happy about this, to be honest with you guys. I think that this is a bad idea. We're looking at this report from Collider and you're probably saying to yourself, like, Brandon, why do you think it's a bad idea? I mean, we've been wanting to see this. It was supposed to come out in June and then they pushed it to October. And because of the pandemic, we didn't want to see it to 2021. Now we can see it in like less than five, six weeks. What's going on? Well, we're going to talk about that, of course. But let me let me just look at some of these details real quick. As all of y'all know, it was released the other day. Um, here's a tweet from Patty Jenkins. The time has come. At some point, you have to choose to share any love and joy. You have to give over everything. And they cut some stuff off so you can't really see it. Like, let me just go ahead and, and, and get to my point real quick. I don't understand this. Okay, this news came out right after the president election. Uh, the results came in. Now, I mean, I'm not trying to make some political post, but I'm just saying here. Okay, the movie theaters are closed right now because we're in a pandemic. And a lot of people, uh, a lot of people in the country just don't believe in it. They said it's lies. They say it's fake news and they're not wearing their mask. And one of the reasons why they're not wearing their mask is because the current leadership that we have right now in the country does not believe in that. He called it a hoax. He said that it's a scam because, you know, it's just a political agenda type thing. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. And so that is is fueling behavior on a lot of people in this country. And so why we're in this pandemic so long, because they're like, well, hey, if our leader 45 says that we don't have to wear a mask, then we don't have to wear a mask. But now the Biden administration is going to be sworn in um, in, in about two months. Yeah, about two months from now, a few more days, about two months from now. And so he is more serious about the pandemic and that we need to wear a mask and, you know, um, uh, pushing this forward as far as the vaccine. And so if all those things are going to be going into place at the late of January, you would think by the time um, the summer movie start season starts rolling in, which really doesn't exist anymore, that, you know, theaters will be back open and people will feel more comfortable. Also, with this news that we're getting right now about uh, the vaccine and how positive the results are. First, it came out that it was 90 percent effective, then like 94.5 percent effective. So now, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm pro vaccine or against vaccine. I'm not going to get into all that. Some people are going to take the vaccine, not everybody, but some people, okay? And those some people that choose to take the vaccine, it will help. It will cut down on the spread. So I really just don't understand this. I mean, it it make it may it would make total sense to me if all these studios were like, okay, until we're gonna make some press release announcement about our future plans, let's wait and see, you know, who is gonna win this election. Because if if Trump would have won again, in my opinion, you know, we would be in a pandemic for another five or six years, you know, because he just doesn't take it seriously. He just doesn't. But if anybody else takes this place, which has happened, they would take it more seriously and we can hopefully put this pandemic behind us and hopefully by the summer of next year, everything may not be perfect back to back the way it is. But, you know, going, you know, I mean, to where businesses can be open to where you, you don't have to be so strict on social distancing. I just I mean, with, with the budget of this movie, two hundred million dollars, two hundred million dollars, guys. And, you know, I just don't see how they're going to make their money back. I mean, it didn't work with Tenet. Um, that film lost money. It didn't work with Mulan. I don't know why they're going to go this route again. Now, of course, Mulan was doing a $30 surcharge or upcharge, but, you know, a $15 a month subscription. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they have the idea, like, okay, we're going to be doing some free trials. Maybe if we can get somebody, you know, once they subscribe, get them stuck in there for about five or six months, you know, we'll make our money back. But still, even if you do that, if you have a family of three or four at home, you know, you're only I mean, that's only buying like one ticket per month as, uh, as opposed to I, I don't know. I just from from a money standpoint, you know, um, this franchise has the potential to be a one billion dollar franchise. I mean, look, the first film made the first film made eight hundred and twenty one million dollars. OK, and if if the second one is, is as good or better, if it's as good, it potentially has to it potentially be a billion dollars. 
if it's better than the first one, which I'm hoping we all uh, we uh, we all think it, it it will be, it can make so much more. And so I really don't understand why they would release it on HBO. I mean, if if, if Trump won and we were still gonna be in a pandemic or something, then it's like you know there's no telling. Then hey, okay, go ahead and release it on HBO Max. But we we got the Biden coming in. He's gonna be taking the pandemic seriously. We got the vaccine, so it looks like that we will be able to go back to the movies at least in May of next year. I don't know. I'm just speculating. That is just my opinion. That's the point of this channel. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, I mean, I'm excited to see the movie, but I honestly, I just don't think this is a good idea. I, I just think, I just, I just think it's silly. You might be saying to yourself, Brandon, what do you know? Uh, I mean, studio, studio, the people that run these studios are normal human beings, just like me and you. It's a job. They're not magical beings from Planet X. Okay, but anyway, guys, like I said, that is just my opinion. Uh, what do you think about this? Are you excited about this movie? Are you going to go see it in theaters? Or are you going to um, stay at home and watch it to be safe uh, and, and HBO Max? So let me know down below in the comment section. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like the video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and look me up on social media. And again, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget to always chase your dreams because I'm chasing mine. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.